years 1999 and currently we have two large hospitals in Padmanam Nagar and Rajaji Nagar. The reason we are here today is along with the infection control team of both our hospitals, we are honoured to welcome Mr. David Tucker, who is the Deputy Director of Infection Control at St. Thomas and Guy's Hospital in the UK, and Mr. Ian Peter, who is the CEO of uh, City and Kent. They have a program called as Clean Certification Program for Hospitals. They are visiting us today from London, and we would like to portray what are the special initiatives that NU Hospitals does in prevention control and importance of the same so that our patients uh, uh, can avail better care. I would request Mr. Ian Peter to take it forward. Thank you, Dr. Sana. Um, I've been visiting um, this site where we're standing now for the past 18 months and I've seen this, uh, this new, the birth of this new hospital, Renu, through uh, many stages. And I must say that uh, you and your team the builders, the architects, um, the designers have done a fantastic job um, in producing this great facility which is unique for India. It's very nice to finally walk into this hospital and meet some nursing staff uh, instead of builders, and carpenters and plumbers. <laughs> um, from an infection control point of view you've given a lot of thought to the environment within this hospital and I'm sure it will produce excellent results and give a fantastic service to all the patients that visit you. Um, from myself, from everyone in the UK, from everyone to do with uh, City and Kent, I wish you all the success and uh, for the future and for serving all your patient needs, <coughs> especially within Bangalore and uh, future for India as well. Well done and congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Peter. Um, I request uh, Mr. David Tucker to tell us why infection control is uh, so important today. Dr. Sana, thank you very much indeed for inviting me to come across to visit this excellent facility. Infection prevention and control is, it is not just a case of control. It is providing an environment in which we can safely look after our patients. What I'm most impressed with today walking around is to see both the facility, the ability to maintain it in good order, high hygienic standards, and also the engagement around infection prevention within the staff that I've met so far today. The facilities are excellent. What is always needed though is the engagement of the staff working within those facilities, their level of awareness, their level of education, and their need to be able to support the patients and to reduce that risk of infection is key to making sure our patients have a safe outcome from the treatment they receive. I congratulate you on this excellent facility and particularly the staff engagement in relation to that. I wish you all the best for the future. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dr. Ramakrishna. Um, one of the important elements of infection control is uh, hand hygiene, and we are proud to tell you that we monitor our hand hygiene from time to time regular basis. Um, as infection controllers periodically reviews all the areas and monitors hand hygiene compliance and also we monitor hand hygiene compliance from closer to the deterioration cameras and we report the compliance among doctors, nurses and technicians on a daily basis through email and this feedback helps us to improve our own quality. We strongly believe that hand hygiene will help us to control infection transmission rate among patients to a very significant uh, extent and we observe that in practice also. Dr. Veena? Yeah, I agree with uh, Dr. Ramakrishna because uh, the hand hygiene is the uttermost. These are, these, are, these are the culprits where we can uh, transmit infections. From the microbiological point of view, uh, down the lane we don't have a lot of uh, antibiotics. If we go on using the antibiotics, our future generation definitely will curse us. We will be left with no antibiotics. So we should be very careful. In, we should be very judicious in using the antibiotics. Thank you. Dr. Dilip, can you tell us some practices in what you follow in the dining hall? Yeah, we are very happy to say that the hand hygiene practice and the infection control practices that we have incorporated in our lab's unit. For the last four and a half years, we have not had a new 
it's CD conversion uh, that is zero. And we are maintaining this record till now. And uh, I'm very proud to say that our usage of antibiotics for caterpillar infections are very, very choosy. And our rates of MRSA are one of the lowest in the country. Let's say something around, uh, probably around 10 to 20 percent of the MRSA rates, but most of the specialty hospitals have MRSA rates of around more than 50 to 60 percent. So we pride, in our, pride ourselves in the fact that uh, our antibiotic policies are in place and we are very choosing using antibiotics. Sister Bhargavi, can you tell us uh, uh, something about the uh, HICC surveillance teams that we have put in place? Yeah, we have a ten number of good surveillance. We go around the hospital on the basis of, basis of the schedule. We will go and look into the hygienic practice in the particular area where the cleanliness of uh, everything from the floor to the instrument, everything the check and again they give a feedback to the infection control nurse as a committee, whatever the observation is done, then we do a follow-up of the same thing. So it should be based on the routinely that every day one month surveillance you go around and see the hygienic and the infection control practice. Thank you. Thank you very much.